we have participants that come in. Yeah. Uh, for example, if I was a uh, if I were a participant, um, I'd, I'd be led to the in processing room, which is the Nicholson room, which we use here in Building 101. Um, at that point, there's a couple TV screens when the students come in, and they'll see their names with their student number. So this way, they're not so lost. We we direct them as needed. And the past CV 1311 leadership, uh, you see down here, Professor Thomas Wingfield. He is. Your At that point, we ensure that they don't open them because we want to do, you know, uh, the participants to do this all at one time. The first thing that we ask the participants to do is to give us their passport, to, just to make copies. You know, we, we let them know and reassure them that we're going to bring it back. We're not going to do anything with that. It, it's just used for the access card that they're going to get when they go to the IX office. Um, during the presentation, it lasts for the registration part approximately 30 minutes, no longer. And at that point, the registrar, Ms. Kozma, she gives a briefing, and it's basically talking about the registration process, uh, packet that they're going to go over. And myself and a couple of other employees will assist the participants with any information or you know, if they have questions about a particular uh, work position or title, whatever, you know. But during that time, the, uh, they'll have the opportunity to, uh, like I said, ask questions about the uh, school here, uh, although our, our main priority is to get them, get them registered so they can actually get in the system. So. And once they complete the registration portion, they have a schedule. After that, they'll be led, usually it's a group of 15 or 20 that we usually register at a time. They'll go to the library or the computer lab. So we may have three groups in the uh, one morning of 15 each, so 45 people. Um, but obviously the library can't handle 45 people at a time, so that's, how, that's the reason they break them up. And also for the IX. So when they finish with us, they have this packet. It's an IX packet. They'll take that, and if their appointment's at 1300, then they know to bring that. And at that point, uh, with their passport, uh, they go ahead and get their access card from the IX office. But uh, they do go downstairs for a library for a briefing there. They do go to the uh, computer lab at a different hour so they can get their uh, username and password. We have a scanner. We can scan documents for you and email them to you or to someone else if you need that done for you. If you need to fax... Uh, but for them, they're in there approximately 30 to 45 minutes with us. Uh, once we're done with them, we get in the student badges. So like I said, during the registration process, Carl Hines will take their photo. Once Carl Hines uploads that, we, we upload the photo to our database in the RC PAMS. And at that point, we can create the student badges. We have a wonderful machine over here. I have one as well as Farka. And they get a nice little student badge that we give to them, and they'll wear that the whole time they're here. And when they leave, that's a souvenir for them yeah. uh, to remember us by.